Hey everyone, and welcome back to ICC What to Watch, the show where we break down the football matches you absolutely cannot miss on this weekend's schedule. I'm your host, Chris Merch. After the first of many international breaks we will have this year as nations gear up for World Cup 2022 in Qatar, it is time to return to club football this weekend, and wow, do we have a ton to look forward to. After the transfer window wrapped up in Europe, we had this international break, so we have yet to see the debuts for the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo at Manchester United, Antoine Griezmann at Atletico Madrid, Eli Mariba at RB Leipzig, and so many more. This could be the weekend we see these stars take the pitch for the first time with their new respective clubs, so energy is definitely high for this weekend's matches. We could also see a first start for Lionel Messi at PSG and the first time he takes the pitch with Neymar and Mbappe. So much to look forward to. Let's jump right into the top three matches on this weekend's European football slate. First up, we have what could be the debut of Manchester United's new number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo against Newcastle. Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern on the USA Network, we could see the triumphant return of CR7 back in Manchester Red for the first time since 2009. While I don't anticipate the legend to start his first game back, he has begun draining already as of Tuesday, so he could be fit and ready to ball, especially after putting his heroic on display against Ireland with Portugal on international duty. This was the summer of shock transfers and Cristiano heading back to Old Trafford certainly was a shock. Now the real question is, was this a good football move for Manchester United. Their attack is absolutely loaded with the likes of Mason Greenwood, Jadon Sancho, Edison Cavani, Marcus Rashford when he's back from injury, and you have Bruno and Pogba dishing it to them from the midfield. Will the Red Devils utilize CR7 in the right way, playing with him instead of around him, or will his mystique detract from the positive momentum United has right now on seven points, two wins, and a draw? It will be a good early test of this again Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern on USA Network against Newcastle. Be sure to tune in. Next, we head to Germany where FC Bayern will face RB Leipzig in an early season Bundesliga showdown that could determine a lot. After three matches in the German top flight, RB Leipzig have three points and are in 10th place. That is simply not good enough for RBL and their new manager, American Jesse Marsh, who could be on the hot seat early if this trend continues. RBL were busy in the transfer window, receiving the likes of Andre Silva, Eli Mariba, Dominic Slobozai, who came in January, Mohamed Simikan, and more good young talent that could win some games and provide a lot for this team. Yet they also gave up one of their best players in Marcel Sabitzer to, you guessed it, FC Bayern, as well as center back Deo Upamecano. With some shakiness initially and a match against the beasts of Bundesliga, can Leipzig seal points and build some confidence here? This one should be an absolute gem Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN+. Last but surely not least, let's go to Italy where Napoli and Juventus will square off. This will be the first match in three seasons where Juve will be without Cristiano Ronaldo on their roster. So far this season, they missed him, and after losing to newly promoted Empoli in their second match day, Juventus have one point and are in 12th. This is the same side that dominated Serie A for a decade and are always dangerous in Champions League. This season will be a huge test for the club who, despite garnering talent like Federico Chiesa, Giorgio Chiellini, Matthias De Ligt, Weston McKinney, and many more, and have new manager Max Allegri who brought tons of trophies to the old lady, nothing will come easy for them this season, especially in their third match day this Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern on Paramount Plus against Napoli. Napoli are two for two on wins this season and are looking to make it back to UEFA Champions League, a competition they have missed out on the past two seasons. They also have loads of talent in Dries Mertens, Lorenzo Insigne, Kalidou Koulibaly, Chucky Lozano, and more, and can certainly compete for the top of Serie A this season. With a win here, it would further sink Juve's momentum and put Napoli in a great position to continue their strong start. Who will win? Again, Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern on Paramount Plus. 
be sure to tune in. Thanks for joining everyone. Be sure to check out internationalchampionscup.com for our other original programming such as The Fixture with Meg Linehan, EPL Insights, and ICC Confidential with Fabrizio Romano. Also, go ahead and follow us at International Champions Cup on Instagram and Facebook and at INT Champions Cup on Twitter. We'll see you next week.